is Marisa. Welcome back to my channel. How is everyone? I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. So today I was thinking more of making a companion painting for my sunset painting. And I will show you that in a minute. My little sunset inspired uh, waterfall painting that I did I think two videos ago. And I'm going to you see a lot of different paints here. I am actually going to mix a Montmartre because uh, with the Primal Flow, I don't have a large selection of um, different colors yet. I just started using these paints and I am absolutely in love. Montmartre, I have to say, is a pretty good brand as well. I'm really happy um, with these paints. So, what are we doing? So, let me start over here. I'm going to use the metallic pouring medium, just a little bit, and I am going to mix some colors. So I am going to go, after I'm done here, I am going to go off and I'm going to mix a very pretty green with a titanium white, sunshine, and this Prima Flow Blue, which I still don't know the name of it because the label was missing. Um, I am going to use Sea Foam with Prima Flow, and I am going to use Montmartre. Let's see what color, the name of this color is. It is light blue, and we're going to use Turquoise, okay? And we're going to use some Montmartre uh, acrylic flow medium. And we are again going to use the Celtastic by Primal Flow. I know the label is full of black paint. I am so sorry about that. Alright. And I am going to do a flip cup today. And I'm actually going to try these guys out. And I'm going to add some of these beautiful, I guess this is glass as well, these kind of aqua turquoise uh, glass pieces um, in the painting because I will show you how the other one dried in a minute, the sunset. And as a special bonus, I'm also going to pour over this adorable uh, seashell piece, a wooden piece that uh, Primal Flow gave with the uh, kit with my subscription uh, subscription box and this is happens to be an 8x10 canvas okay right here so I'm just gonna quickly show you my sunset painting okay it is completely dry uh, let's go over here real quick all right so this well, the lighting is pretty good too wow so this dried just perfectly this was the waterfall painting with the glitter and the little glass pieces and everything dried just perfectly. And I love how the glass just, the colors just show through the glass. I think that's really awesome. And look at that glitter just glisten. I just love it. And it's just a little touch of glitter. You don't need to overdo it. So I am very happy with the way this dried and the way this came out. That's so pretty. And you have a little cells going on in there as well. If my camera would just focus. All right, so let me show you how this one dried real quick. This was actually my third Dutch pour that I ever made and I am in love with it. And I actually really love this technique. Um, yeah, I guess with the uh, blow dryer, sometimes, you know, it's, it's hard to kind of gauge how much control you have over the paint. Like I had said in the other video, I had like paint splash all over my wall. So, um, but you know what? I am really loving this technique. And I am going to do it more often, whether it be on camera or off, just to just try it out and just practice. And yeah, I am loving this. I think this is really, really, really cool. 
The cells are just awesome. This, it's just like a very dynamic um, piece. So that is the way those two dried. So this paint, these were both Prima Flow, and I'm going to be honest, this paint is just absolutely perfect so far, except for the odor, like I had said. But, you know, if you're in a well-ventilated um, area, which you should be anyway, um, with any paint, even if you don't smell it, um, but honestly, this just dries beautifully. The colors are vibrant. I mean, everything about it is just so awesome. So I have nothing bad to say. I know I'm gushing again over this paint, but I can't help it because right now I don't find any fault in it whatsoever. I have found fault in other paints before and other mediums. And yeah, you know, I do a lot of experimenting. I love mixing, like over here, I like mixing different brands together. Um, and I have no idea how these two are going to react together, by the way. I have no clue. But um, again, the Montmart is a really good brand. And the Prima Flow is too. So I am going to use the Montmart Medium with that. I'm going to use the Prima Flow with uh, the Prima Flow. Um, and I am going to experiment using the Prima Flow with other paints. But for now, for this guy, I am going to use their respective mediums. Alrighty. And I cannot wait to get my hands and try these beautiful uh, blue little glass pieces out. Because look how beautiful they are. Like Maybe they're little pieces of shell, I'm assuming. I don't know. But whatever they are in there, I am going to use it. Alright guys, so I have talked long enough. Let's get going. I'm going to do this flip cup. And I am going to paint this beautiful um, shell piece. And maybe I was thinking to put some of these uh, shell pieces or glass on the uh, wood piece as well as a little uh, addition. Alright, so let's get started and I will be back in a minute. Bye.
my camera freaking out again so sorry about that so that was a lot of fun I love doing flip cups because you know the colors just mix up beautifully and I'll be honest with you when I made that color that kind of more mossy green at first not that I don't like that color but I didn't think it would work well with this 
but I have to say I really like it because the other colors, the uh, Seafoam color from Primal Flow and then the Montmartre, uh, the turquoise are very similar, so I'm glad I actually got a totally different uh, green uh, mixed with that uh, Primal Flow blue, the sunshine, and a little bit of white, the titanium white. And it came out, I really, I'm, I'm, because I was questioning myself if I should even add it into the painting. And I'm like, you know what, just go for it and see what happens. But I actually love that. I really, really do. I think it's a beautiful contrast. Otherwise, it would have been just like a lot of lighter blues, a lot of lighter greens. And then these little shell uh, pieces are just adorable. And they just give this painting more life. I just love the way this came out. What beautiful paint. I just love this painting. It is absolutely amazing. And then... I really love the way this guy came out. This is very cool. And I love the fact that I got some cells on this wood as well. And yeah, I love that. It's like it's a lot more dark, uh, darker blue, but you see all the colors in there as well. I am really loving uh, using these little pieces of either glass or shells. And at first when I got these bags, I didn't think it was like a lot, but honestly, for the subscription box to be, um, it's twenty, it's twenty nine ninety nine, thirty dollars. Honestly, I think you get a pretty good deal, and um, they give you a lot of different things to try, and I love that. So you know, if you like experimenting like I do and just adding different things to your paintings always doing different types of pores, using different colors, you know, just having fun. I would honestly suggest you try out, because you don't need to get the subscription. You can get, um, choose to get one box, like just for that particular month. You don't have to get the subscription. So that's actually cool as well. So like, let's say one month um, I saw that they had like this Harry Potter, uh, inspired uh, box and you can just get that box for that month and then that's it you know so I think that's a pretty cool deal so yeah so that is it for today guys I hope you enjoy this video and oh my goodness I almost forgot to mention that um, Sunday I hit my 300 so since I am doing a Lunar New Year giveaway um, this month in January, okay, um, even though I did hit the 300, I'm very grateful and thankful, and thank you guys so, so much for just, you know, watching my videos and being part of my community, and uh, we are being in each other's communities as well, so I think it's a great thing. Um... Yeah, I am going to do my 300 uh, giveaway in February, which is coming up very soon, in a couple of weeks. But I just want to do the Lunar New Year giveaway first. I want to pick the winners for that. I want to be able to, you know, mail off and, you know, all the winners. Uh, I'm going to have four winners for that uh, giveaway. So I want to be able to do that, you know, properly. And then we will do my next giveaway, okay? I'm going to try and do a giveaway every month this year, if I can. Okay? So, guys. Oh, yes. And like I said in the other couple of videos, if you want to enter my giveaway, please go on that video. And I'll link it right here and just put it enter me. Okay? And that is it. And you just have to be subscribed to my channel. Alright guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.